Hello friends, welcome to Cloud Friends YouTube channel. Today we'll learn how to use Azure Service Bus Topic Filters. Let's begin. To start with, what is Azure Service Bus? Microsoft Azure Service Bus is a fully managed enterprise message broker with message queues and published subscribe topics. Service Bus is used to decouple applications and services from each other, providing the following benefits. It balances the load across various applications. It safely routes and transfers the data and controls across service and application boundaries. Also, it coordinates transactional work that requires a high degree of reliability. Why should you use topics and subscriptions? The messages sent to a service bus topic can be received from its subscription created under the topic. So you have the service bus at the top level within the service bus. You have topics and within topics you can have different subscriptions. So subscribers can define which messages they want to receive from a topic. These messages are specified in the form of one or more named subscription rules. Each rule consists of a condition that selects messages. For each matching rule, the subscription produces a copy of the message. For real-time multi-tenant application, the messaging scenarios with multiple subscribers would require filtering. The benefits which topic and subscription provides are though service bus topics support multiple subscribers, the main reason for the users to switch to topics instead of queues would be the filters that you can use in the topics. Setting up rules for the subscriptions reduce considerable manual effort in handling the messages in real time. In terms of expense, using topic subscriptions with appropriate filters will reduce the cost when compared to the subscriptions without any rules and filtering handled in runtime. Having appropriate filters for each subscription will result in better performing, more secure and cost effective solution. Consider an example of single sender and multiple receivers. Let's say we want to receive only specific messages based on certain rules and filters. Each subscription represents a receiver like Akinio, ESL and Cloudinary. If rules are not configured for each subscription, it accepts all the incoming messages in each subscription. The downstream application should receive the messages and check if it belongs to the current receiver. This will result in performance issues as well as increase the expense as the pricing is based on the message flow. Another important problem in manual filtering is if the messages contain sensitive information, it results in security issues. So we can see if 100 messages are sent to topic and there are no filters in place, each of the subscription in the service bus receives 100 copies of the same message. On the other hand, if we have filters in place and 100 messages are sent to a specific topic, based upon the filters of each subscription, the specific systems would require would get the messages only which are required by them and no copies of the messages would be sent to unnecessary subscriptions. Hence, the problem of security issues. Also, the pricing is reduced. Let's see the different types of topic subscription filters. There are three types of conditions that can be provided in the filter. First, Boolean filter. A true filter selects all the arriving messages to subscription, whereas false selects none of the arriving messages. By default, all subscriptions have a true filter. SQL filter. It has a SQL like conditional expression that is evaluated on the messages system and user defined properties. It tests for existence of certain properties using exists keyword. Null values by 
is null keyword and plain text matching with like keyword. Correlation filters. The correlation filter is usually matched against the correlation ID property of the arriving messages. It has a set of conditions that can be matched with more than one arriving message with user or system properties. A match is said to exist when the value of arriving messages properties is equal to the value specified in the correlation filter. Now let's have a demo of what we have just studied. For the demonstration purpose, we have this put endpoint, which is sending messages to our service bus topic in the backend. The service bus namespace is demo service bus dev, which has a topic called as demo topic, which has three subscription in it. Let's see the subscriptions. These are our three subscriptions, which I will be using to demonstrate the different type of filters. So the first one I'll be using for demonstrating the Boolean filter. By default, when you create a subscription in topic, you have this default filter in it which means that all the incoming messages to that specific topic will be by default sent to this particular subscription as well. So this is the Boolean filter, which says one is equals one, which means all the incoming messages will by default come to the subscription. Let's check. I'll send a message with say Boolean in it. Click on send and check the subscription. So currently the count was zero. Let me just hit refresh and check. So the default subscription has one count in it and these both subscriptions, I don't have any filter in place at the moment. So let me check the message if it's the right message that we had sent. Let me have a peek. Let's say peek. And yes, this is the right message that we had sent. Moving on, let's see how you can apply a SQL filter for your subscription. Click on add filter, give a name for the filter. Let's say receiver. And you have to enter a SQL like query. Let's say receiver equals a key name and save the changes. So your filter has been applied. Now to make sure that the messages with headers having receiver as a key new, go to that specific subscription. Let's just say a key new in the message and click on send. So I'll just hit a refresh and we can check. So the count over here has increased to one and over here two, as this was the one with default filter. So by default, the message has gone to this subscription and to this one. So let me check the message. Let me have a peek. And this is the right message. Okay, now moving on to the correlation filter. To add the correlation filter, click on add filter, give a name and click on correlation filter. I'll add a custom property. Let's say receiver is ESL for this one. Click save changes. Let me go back to the endpoint and over here in the message, let's say ESL with the header property as receiver equals ESL and click on send. And now let's see the status of different subscriptions. Let me hit refresh. So the count was 210. So after sending this message, 
the count should increase to three, one, one. Let's check. Yeah, we have the right results. So let us check the message. Let me peek. So this is the right message. So you can see that the right messages are being received by the subscriptions and you can process them as per the different receivers which you want to receive the particular message. So in this way you can ensure security of the messages and also avoid unnecessary messages being pushed to different subscriptions by using either the Boolean filter, the SQL filter or the correlation filter. Thank you so much for watching.